Coming up on Mountain News this morning, a group of Eastern Kentucky students come together to help out their community. And first responders in our region face off in a delicious competition all for a good cause. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you. It's Friday at 632 and boy are we just jazzed, pumped and all other adjectives for Friday. Let's take it over to Brandon for a look of our forecast. Brandon, our weekend is almost here. Mm -hmm. After I do my cut ins, I am heading to Knoxville. There so, you go. Because you know why I'm heading to Knoxville? Do we want to know? My birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it taking me all of uh, 30 seconds to bring that up. Well, we still have 30 more minutes. Buckle up. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 10 references here in the next 30 minutes. But anyway, <laughs> let's take a look and see what we got going on weather wise this morning. And the Pikeville camera there, US 119, US 23, uh, right across the street from Pikeville Commons. Traffic's starting to pick up just a little bit this morning, so we're keeping an eye on that for you. Heading up on the mountain, it is 45 Pine Mountain there, 40 Prestonsburg and Jackson, 38 up there in Pikeville at the airport, 28 the London Corbin Airport, 39 in Williamsburg, 31 in Harlan, and 26 is our actually no 25. I just saw it right before it went away, and Jonesboro is now our cool spot. But still, most locations just a few degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday. A couple of spots like Somerset, Williamsburg, and Monticello, a couple of degrees warmer from this time yesterday. 64 this afternoon, maybe a stray chance for a passing shower as the cold front approaches, but the big thing we're watching today is the wind. That red flag warning goes into effect at 12 o'clock this afternoon, goes to 6 o'clock tonight. I thought it was already in effect. That's my mistake on that earlier. But I'm, getting, I'm looking at the National Weather Service email right now from 12 to 6. And, of course, those southwesterly winds could gust as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour at times during the afternoon. So just be aware of that low humidity, ongoing forest fires it leads to a bad situation. We're keeping a close eye on that and we'll keep you posted. Dakota? All right, Brandon, thank you. Well, three teenagers are charged in the shooting of a Lexington police officer last weekend. Our sister station, WKYT, reports the 16-year-old accused of firing the shot that hit the officer should have been in jail at the time. We have learned his identity but are not releasing it because of his age. The shooting happened Saturday when officers approached the teens to talk to them about another shooting. That is when investigators say the 16-year-old fired at the officers. The officer hit was wearing a vest, and we are told he is doing okay. Jury selection is moving swiftly in the trial of a former Kentucky police officer, Brett Hakinson. Now, he was involved in a drug raid that left Breonna Taylor dead. Eleven jurors will move on to the group to, on to the group question session later this month. That brings to a total of 22 potential jurors, which is about half of what the court wants. During questioning Wednesday, most of the potential jurors had heard or read something about this case in the news or on social media. A few told the attorneys they couldn't be impartial. Several told the lawyers the thought of being on a jury made them anxious. The judge said they are hoping to finish this trial on March 4th. Well, pool owners in Kentucky will need to build barriers or fences around their pools soon. The House Committee approved a bill on Tuesday to help keep young children out. House Bill 196 would be known as the Ava Grace Jenkins Law. Ava was a two-year-old McCracken County girl who died in 2019 after climbing into a neighbor's pool and drowning. Violations would bring fines of $50 to $100 a day. Well, some sad news this morning from the Louisville Zoo team. A 6-year-old Sumatran tiger died Monday due to blood cancer. The tiger was recognizable and popular with guests to, due to his missing eye, which gave him a permanent winking appearance. It's hard to put into words how much we will miss him. He was a presence. Every day we looked forward to waking him up and seeing him, and it's hard to know that he's not here with us, in our building with us. And it's, he will be missed. He will be missed. Well, the Tiger arrived in Louisville in 2017. Five students from Leslie County High School have created an organization to help their community. Well, the community problem solving team began Operation Hope three years ago. It stands for helping overcome poverty everywhere, and it is focused on improving the lives of impoverished people in Leslie County. Ensuring that citizens have better opportunities within Leslie County because we are um, 
largely impoverished. There's a lot of citizens in our county that face destitution, and we're just trying to make a difference. The current project's focus is helping students prepare for the workforce. Officials teamed up with first responders to raise money and have a little competition yesterday to help with the revitalization of a historical site in Corbin. Our Zach Hawk has the story. That will be bad news for at least one chili connoisseur. I voted for um, B1. I, I liked B1 because it wasn't super spicy, but it was kind of spicy. Thursday's chili cook-off at Depot on Main pits Corbin's police officers and firefighters against each other. We're excited to get out here and make some chili and, and uh, help the community, but uh, most important for us is to beat the fire department, of course. We're going to beat them. They, no question about it. They're beat. Every charity event that we've had, we've won. So I don't see tonight going any different. They were going for back-to-back -back wins and came in confident, but left defeated. But the day was about more than good-spirited competition. The Carnegie Library was built in 1916 as Corbin's first library. In 2022, it is in need of a facelift of sorts. We're trying to preserve one of the oldest buildings in the city of Corbin, and it's important for us to do that so that it doesn't continue to deteriorate. And can instead become a community center, thanks in part to Thursday's chili cook-off. Officials raised $2,400, bringing the total donated to more than $80,000 since the restoration began in 2015. In Corbin, Zach Hawk, WYMT, Mountain News. Well, Kroger gave $1,000 to make sure the police and fire departments did not have to buy supplies. And on Holland told us that anyone who wants to contribute may do so through the Corbin Tourism website. Well, our East Kentucky sport boat and RV show kicks off today, and vendors are already filling the Appalachian Wireless Arena. From RVs to ATVs and a few things in between, well, that gives you a chance to get a, a close-up look at some of the latest models that could soon be yours. With games, raffles, and more, the arena space, indoors and out, is packed with a little something for everyone this weekend. It's going to be a good time. You can come out and check all the new RVs, the new side-by-sides. We've got motorcycles, uh, copperhead gun ranges set up. We have a trout tank for the kids to come in. It's free. They can fish. They can have a good time, try to catch a fish. It's uh, basically everything that you want to do when spring hits, and it's, it's right around the corner. Well, the event kicks off today at 4 p.m. You can join in on the fun Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and a final chance on Sunday from noon until 5 o'clock. Businesses in Pikeville are gearing up for Valentine's Day celebrations. Plenty of events are happening during the weekend, mainly on Saturday, and are all hosted by small, locally owned businesses. These events include live music at Broken Throne Brewing's Great Hall, shopping suites and sips at the shops at 225, and a date night that may be a little more atypical. We've got some comics coming in from Louisville, and they're going to be putting on a show for us. We're going to have beer provided by Broken Throne Brewery down the street here, and um, we're just going to have a fun night of it. Many of the shops will be having giveaways and Valentine's Day deals, so even if you do not stick around for the show, you can come downtown and shop local. Coming up on 641, we take a look at those temperatures once again, and they're actually going up in some locations. 40 in Jackson and Prestonsburg, close to it there in Pikeville this morning. Logan, too, and over toward Williamsburg, all at 39. 45 is the hot spot on top of uh, Pine Mountain there, going across the mountain uh, into parts of Harlan County from Letcher County. And then Jonesville is the cool spot now at 25. No teens this morning, though, so that's always a better forecast. Get your rolls out because it's going to be a nice start to the day as temperatures climb quickly as the sun comes up here about 7, a little before 730, and we should be about 4 degrees warmer than at 7, than at 8, they're about 35. Dakota? All right, Brendan, thank you so much. It's 641 still to come here on Mountain News this morning. A U.S. judge restores protections for one of North America's apex predators. That's coming up next.